A little while ago I showed you how to make this dice rolling tray out of a box picture frame with a printed image on wood. And now I'm going to be showing you how I made this dice tray and dice rolling tower out of this box with a painted image on the front. So first of all I'm just going to show you the box. I got it from Amazon. It was about £8 I think which is probably a little bit expensive for what it is. And you can actually see the dimensions here on the back. On the front it's just got a little silver clasp thing which opens it and it's got matching silver hinges. I'm not actually going to change these because I want them to be silver anyway, they, they'll do for now. I might change them in the future but that won't be part of this video. So on the inside it is just plain. What I'm planning on doing is putting in some sort of mechanism here to hold it. But first I'm going to start with the artwork so I'm going to be drawing on the top here. I'm not actually going to be staining the wood but I am going to be covering it in Mod Podge. The reason is I'm going to be doing a design on this using this white Posca pen. It's a paint pen and I remember seeing uh, Rin from Drawing With Waffles use it on wood and it kind of bled into the grain of the wood so I am going to seal it first with Mod Podge. Sometimes this black pen just like explodes and then seeps into the like grain of the wood. Oh, oh, the lid's stuck. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> nope, nope, that didn't work. Oh, I got it. I got it. <laughs> damn. Oh, that's crusty. Oh, don't fall in, don't fall in. Ew. Ugh. It's still good. I'm making sure to keep all my strokes in one direction just in case they actually show up so that it doesn't look messy. While that is drying I just want to tell you about the design I want to do. There's an artist that I follow on Instagram called 4100 and she does these really beautiful amazing mandala designs. She normally just does them in black and white but she'll sometimes do white ones on top of um, wood and I just think it looks really, really lovely and classy. So um, instead of doing something dark and fantasy-like, I thought I would go for something really light and, I don't know, just something really pretty. I am just going to uh, do a little bit of testing with this pen. I know you can't really see that very well but it's uh, juicy. Another plan that I had with this, as well as doing the mandala design in the middle, I've got this pin, which has got a D20 on it. And I thought maybe, maybe I could put that in the center. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can pull the pin off. Huh.
so I've got this Derwent eraser here it's just got batteries I think it's just just some AAA batteries in it and what it does is it spins the eraser at the tip really fast so you don't really have to rub yourself <laughs> I didn't I didn't mean it that way I meant you don't have to like put you know what I mean anyway it's a really good eraser and um, it doesn't seem to be taking off the paint but I might go over some of it where it hasn't filled in much um, I'm afraid you can't see very much from this top camera but on the side view you get a good view so it is the next day I'm gonna stick this on now so this opens this way so I want it to be upright like when it's facing that way what I did also is it, it wasn't a clean break on the bottom so I just got my Dremel out and um, tried to sort of sand that flat I didn't do a very good job but it was enough um, and I forgot to film it so sorry about that but I'm just gonna um, glue this on I'm not using anything fancy just all-purpose glue so hopefully I don't mess it up I'm sure this glue will be fine uh, I'm not being very accurate with where the centre is, I'm just sort of making a rough guess. Now that this is all dry and done, uh, I'm ready to start on the dice tower on the inside. I'm going to be doing it in the lid so what I'm using for that is some pieces of strip wood and they are going to go in like that I do need to cut more of these and I've got this fancy little cutter with me the way I'm going to use this is put it in like that and then it's got these cutting bits so that you can cut at an angle because what I want to do is I'm going to have the pieces coming off like that and so I need to have an angle cut on them just so that they sit flush against the sides This is roughly how it's going to go so you put the dice in and it falls down here but the problem is right here there's a bit of a lip you can see here the lip of the actual lid so we need to think of a way to make a curve coming down this way like that as a ramp I'm going to think up something else for that so I've come up with a great idea to have a little ramp here and that is this little wedge of wood and I got this wedge of wood <laughs> from cutting this big piece of wood and I didn't film it because it was awkward and messy and um, I've already got my camera set up on this tripod and my other camera's battery's flat so yeah it's still got a few ridges in it from my bad cutting but it actually fits there really perfectly so I'm really happy with how it turned out there's only sort of one thing left that I need to do and that is to just trim down the corners of these and that's the last bit of cutting I need to do I think so after that, I'll be gluing them all in. Very poorly cut, but it still does the job. So don't copy the way I cut things. That's done now. So I just need to sand them back. Just to take off any sharp edges and they are pretty much good with all the pieces I think I'm just going to glue them in focus please thank you so probably something like that but I just need to make sure that there's enough room between each of the pieces so they can actually I might do that a bit higher anyway I'm going to glue these in
this is kind of dry now and it works. <laughs> I need to put a cover on this. So what I was thinking, I've got some perspex that someone gave me but I don't really have any way to cut it. I don't want to do it with a handsaw and I can't find my jigsaw. So instead, I've got this and this piece here is kind of the right size. You don't need anything that's going to be taking any weight on here, like the dice aren't going to hit the front cover very much. So you can even put cardboard there or even just paper, but I want to see through it so I'm going to use this. So I need to cut out a little bit at the top, obviously you need to cut out a bit at the bottom so the dice comes out, and then just glue it on. I'll tell you what, when I found this, I honestly did not measure it and that is the most perfect fit I have ever seen. I'm just putting in this piece here, so I'm just trying to just hand screw it in and it's actually a bit tough. And I'm not sure at what point the camera stopped recording, but I think that's about as far in as I'm going to get it. Ha! Oh my god, it works. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. It works. Wow, it is... That's... That's actually like perfectly 90 degrees um, and it doesn't close, although it does tilt, <laughs> but that's, that's fine, that's good. So let's give it a shot. Oh, amazing. Still haven't got a natural 20 though. Oh, <laughs> natural one. So now that I've got this all sort of fixed up, I am going to actually put some felt in here. I didn't put any felt in these bits because I kind of like the blinky plonky sound of it hitting the wood. So I'm just going to leave those like that, but I am going to put some felt here on the bottom. I am using white felt for this. I got two sheets just in case I messed it up and I just need to measure it and cut it. And I got the stuff that is already sticky on the back. You just need to peel off the paper. So, you know, minimum fuss and I don't have to deal with glue. What? Oh. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I messed that up. Look, it's like three millimeters. Good thing I bought two of them. <laughs> Let's try that again. Yeah, what a moron. That is not too bad. about time to try this out. So I really hope you enjoyed that. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you in my next video.